again welcome to our research method one course again welcome to research method one course our main topic today is to learn how to formulate a research question so again this is unit five lectures formulating a research question so our main objective is to distinguish between types of research questions based on different study designs also how to generate ideas for research questions and also formulate an operationalizable research question. So first we start the role of a research question. And here we can say that again, a research question is the organizing principles for an entire study. So again, a research question is organizing, is the organizing principles for an entire study. Also this research question can clarify exactly what the researcher wants to describe or explain. Also, the research question bridges the gap between a research problem and also a detailed plan for study design and analysis. So the methodological approach and study design stem directly from the focus of, again, a research question, which is, again, the specific component of the research problem. So again, research question is a very specific specific component or element of a research problem so organizing principles of for an entire studies again here we need to focus on the population the sample also the data collection method then the measure and also the analysis then we come with the forum for operating the again the results so again, the choice of a question, objective, or hypothesis, again, depends in large part on what is known about the research problem. So objectives and research questions are the best choice in situations where little information and also relevant research are available, and where the main purpose of study is to again identify or describe characteristics or examine the relationships. Hypothesis are, again, are the most best choice if the researcher is testing component of a theory or examine a causal relationship. Again, there are, again, three, so again, this is the main organizing principles of any entire studies. And again, when we are doing a studies, especially in the field of uh, public health, uh, we need to target our population. Then from there, we collect our sample from that population. So if our target population is a male between the age of 20 to 30 in New York City. Now in New York City, we have over millions, at least 1 million plus population. So we may target it, get a sample of maybe 500, 200 to do our own. Now the process of getting our sample will be the data collection method. Then when we get our data and we prepare the data for analysis, we can measure the data first, like using the descriptive statistics to summarize the data, to understand the data. The whole concept of measuring the data is uh, to exploit the data, is to understand the data. Then from there, we apply our analysis, most likely to be statistics, statistics uh, analysis, or it can be uh, data analysis concept or garbage, et cetera. So after we finish with our analysis, then we have to report our results. And that's the last step. So there are, again, three types of research questions. Uh, one is the descriptive association and also the causa. So descriptive will be dealing with how often, how much, what number, what percentage, was there a change as the incident increased, what is affected, when did it start, and where it is concentrated. So you can see that when we look at this descriptive concepts here, uh, we don't have a question that we want to know the cause of an outcome. 
and that will be the association the senior relationship COSA will be the cause of an outcome association will be for example coalition we want to know if there's a relationship between uh, an, an environment and some outcome so here i can say that the descriptive questions can be addressed in example will be case studies or case series or cross-sectional or case control and also cohort studies so the main objective is to again descriptive the main objective is to describe the extent of the health phenomena whose experience it and that's who experiences it and where and when it occurs so for example consider questions about the body mass index bmi of uh, americans uh, we can have a, a descriptive question aimed to describe the trend of bmi so the question usually begin with how often how much what number or what percent teach for example how many americans are overweight what percentage of americans have a high body mass index and how many Americans, men or women are overweight. So we can see this uh, descriptive questions. We don't want to find the causes or if there's any association between body mass index and maybe eating or exercise activities. So example is giving you also for a childhood type, type two diabetes. Here our question, we say there has has the incidence increase. So here we say that it increased from 0 0.7 per 100,000 in 1982 to 7.2 per 100,000 in 1994. This is a work done by Pinhouse in 1996. Who is affected? This is Pima Indians in Arizona have unusual high prevalence of type two diabetes in childhood. So we can again see the whole concept of a descriptive question. Uh, the goal is to try to describe the phenomena. So type two diabetes in children is a newly recognized pedi pediatric disease. So historically, diabetes mellitus in children and adolescents are believed to be primarily type one. However, Cases of youth type 2 diabetes have been noted since 1979, but the prevalence was too low to stimulate cross examination. Now, there are currently no nationwide epidemiologic data focused on type 2 diabetes in children. So, here, the second is association and cause. Association again want to know the risk factors. What is the relationship or the correlation between an environment and an outcome? So the association cause I want to know the risk factors. The cause I want is to know the direct cause. For example, we are hundred percent sure smoking causes lung cancer, so that's a direct cause. Then we can see the type of question we can ask in association cause because we want to know the risk, the reason, so why and how. So example given here by obesity as a cause or risk factor. So our question said, are obese individuals more likely than those who are not obese to have cardiovascular disease, CVD. So there was a study done here, the study of firefighters showed that extremely obese subject had an average of 2.1 risk factors for CVC compared to 1.5 for normal weight firefighters. Now the next question is, is obesity associated with colorectal cancer? 
So this will be a association or COSA. So the subject with colorectal cancer had higher body mass indices compared to those without cancer. So as we said earlier, cause evaluation is the cause and effect. So this will be an evidence-based program. If S causes or increase the risk of for Y, then decreasing S should decrease Y. Also, decreasing or preventing X is a deterrent for Y. Because again, here, Y will be our independent. And X will be our dependent. Because X causes or increases the risk for Y. So X will be our independent. The next we say decrease of preventing X is a deterrent for Y. So a type of question here can be, does America, does program alpha have a desirable effect on X? Or is program alpha effective in preventing Y? So here is an example of a modest weight loss on preventing type 2 diabetes. We have the experimental group, which is intensive dietary advice and exercise motivation. Then we have control group, which is the oral and rate information about the diet and exercise. Then the outcome will be the experimental group had significantly greater reduction in diabetes risk factor comparing to the control group. So most sources for research questions can be everyday life, uh, what we do at home, in the kitchen, etc., watching TV, or practical issues in the field of studies, or relevant research studies, and also theory. So questions from everyday life can be a traditional questions that were answered historically, by superstitions or myths and legends. Example, why does the sun rise and set? What causes lightning storms? And what prevents illness? Now, questions from issues in the field of studies. Here we say the major question that brought the field of professional public health uh, what are the causes of increasing prevalence of obesity in the U.S.? And also, what is an effect, effective vaccine for HIV? What is an effective cure for infection with hepatitis, hepatitis C virus? So next is the relevant research questions. We say the results of studies on the topic of interest can guide the more specific focus of research questions and hypotheses. So replicate the result to provide more support, tests in the different types of population, tests are related but slightly different vaccine, serum. So example is our residents of food desert areas that is neighborhood with access to fresh produce more likely than the others to be obese. So the theory here, so we said the collection of, of related integrated principles or laws that describe, explain, predict, control health phenomena. So generate hypothesis to expand the theory into new but related areas. Example can be individuals with other social demographic characteristics and similar related risk factors. So example would be 
a self-efficacy theory by Bandura 1977, principles may be effective component of obesity prevention program. So a good research question, we need to identify it, and we need to identify the characteristics of the target population. Then we need to measure our studies, as we said, and their study measures. For example, can be the exposure, the outcome, the risk factors. And type of research questions we said can be descriptive, association, causa, and evaluation. And on trying to formulate our research question, this is something we need to consider, which we call the final. Again, this is acronym. So F represent represent feasible. It must be possible to answer the question analytically. The next is interesting. The question should show general interest among consumers of the research. The novel will be the question should be should add something new to the field of the research. Then the ethical issue will be the procedure needed to answer questions must not compromise the protection of human subject. The relevant to the question should address issues that are timely and have an impact on the study population and make a contribution. So this will be again the conclusion of our topic on formulating the research question. This is again unit five lectures and wish everybody the best.